But -da 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 -da. welcome. Hey, the audio didn't reset this time. Awesome. Uh, I have turned the mic volume up a little bit. Hopefully, it doesn't get staticky. It's always a concern. And, uh, well, I don't know if this one will go up because it's practice time at Imola. Excuse the background. Everything's moved around because I was doing some work with the, with the rig, trying to organize some wiring. It still looks terrible. But there will be a video on it shortly. So, you know, there you go. Uh, yeah, so practice here at Imola. Not really much going on here. I did beat out Matt Higgs, who is definitely a little ragey right now. Uh, 23 degrees. Okay, so same temperature. Cool. Ayrton Tobin looking quick. Up into fourth place. And, of course, a couple, couple of seconds. ace drivers up front. Um, I feel like I might kind of unfortunately be in a land of my own here. Just because... Um, using the water bottle today instead of the camel pack. Just because, you know, I assume Higgs will probably get the better of me here, and I feel like I have a pretty reasonable cushion back to Atsby and Lasutis. But at the same time, probably not super competitive with Ayrton Tobin, which is a little bit of a concern. Get some heat on these tires. Uh, Higgs is in the Porsche here, which is not... After being, you know, very strong at the first two rounds of the se of the series, won't so much be here. Let's burn a little speed off. More off. More off. That's about right. There we go. Martin moving over to cover. Car on the right. Clear on the right. Higgs dumping off. Oh. Car on the right. Little sketchy on the. I'm not really sure why he left the track. A little sketchy on the rejoin. Coming up to Variante Villeneuve. Not really sure if I should be taking that fourth or third. It's so maybe the one. Because it varies car to car. I know I was using fourth in the Audi last season. And got a very solid result. But it feels a little sluggish in fourth with the Lexus. Piratella, which has some weird track limits, honestly. There's a couple of weird track limit spots around this track. Curb there at Minerale. Cost me a little bit of time. Tires are still out of the zone, but getting there. Got Andreas behind me. Guillermo Martinez behind him. Adam Ian fell back. Don't know where to. Not gonna lie, I kinda want to avoid Ruben C and CO, who's in the field today. <laughs> Just has a knack for hitting me. There we go. Get the right MFD up there. There's, uh, Higgs battles with Zach Martin. Like I said, didn't really think I could didn't really think I could keep with the four cars that qualified in the top four, and I didn't honestly think I could keep with Higgs, so. This is kind of what I was worried about. But Andreas looking pretty solid. Oh, Zach Martinoff. Not really sure how that wasn't a more of a yellow flag pronouncement, but okay.
Martinez still with me. One of the Cheneys behind him. It's not too far off. We're slow down into Alta. Uh, goal lap time. I did a 42.9 on qualifying fuel. Probably not replicatable on full fuel. But obviously if we can get into the third to the 43s on a consistent basis I'll be fairly happy with the the performance Tobin is very fast here which is not surprising the um, the uh, why is my brain not working right now the uh, Mercedes pretty much is the S car here very strong around this track. When Imola first came out in ACC, it was pretty much all the wide bass Mercedeses that were even here with the pro drivers. And it's still, despite having had a little bit of torque tweaking, it is the car to be in here. What worth of Tobin running second and third and then being held up by Burke. But I would not be surprised if we got... Well, I, it wouldn't even be a surprising winner because, of course, Turcotte and Mura over at Angry Panda are driving uh, Mercedes's. Matt Panda Mercedes, specifically, uh, in this series. So, wouldn't surprise me to see one of them get out there and do some work. Higgs rejoining from a off. Let's see what him and Martin can do coming back through the field. Temperatures are a little off. Or uh, pressures are a little high, I should say. Something to adjust maybe in the pit stop. 44-1. Not terrible. But I'd like to be able to take out a, a consistent couple of tents from that. So I'd like... We're unfortunately at the point where I'm kind of just battling against lap times. I don't really think Andreas has anything for me. We'll get a rare battle with Higgs, though. Maybe. This is a more this is more like it. Barring a fairly major mistake, should be able to get into the 43s. It is now Higgs behind me as I overslow a little bit into Ravasa. It's about a tenth. But got it back re pretty quickly, actually, on the exit. So, overall, not bad. 43.3. We're a little slower than Tobin. Which is a good sign, considering he was uh, the pretty close to a, you know, better part of the second. Pretty close to a second faster than me in practice and qualifying. So, if I can keep the gap to him to like I don't know a half second a lap or so I'm not I'm not going to be complaining about that don't see my teammate Rick Martell anywhere though Means the other Lexus is a little far back. Bit 
sloppy through Minerali. Uh, tires are a little high up on the pressure. Kind of a little bit all around, but particularly on the right side of the car. Something to adjust in the pit stop. Pit window opens in about six minutes. Slap not gonna be very good. It wasn't wasn't very good before I made a mistake at Alta. So 43-3 for Tobin, so no improvement. 43-4 for Higgs. trouble at all to did cool down the tires a little bit knock their pressures down a tad probably gonna take one off of everything but the left front at the pit stop assuming we don't get a any kind of temperature change between now and then race started at 23 C should go down maybe to 22 21 C lap right now. Good third sector up until the exit of Ravasa. See if Higgs goes through it for anything in Tamborello. Porsche is very strong on the brakes, but not great with curves. I think I was saying before the race that at uh, here last year. My defensive driving got me a very good result that my pace didn't really warrant. Because while there is a lot of overtaking opportunities at Imola, they're all very brave overtaking opportunities. makes them fairly easy to, to uh, defend against. He's catching me into Alta, I think, every time, though. That'll be... If he doesn't get it into Ravasa here, that'll be where it'll come, I think. As he backs out. Only issue is again, Alta is the curb is the curb's destroyer. The pace is there. Just keep making mistakes. A bit too much curb here or there. Alta, Ravasa, Aqua, Minerali have all been a bit hit and miss. Need to clean those up. Let's 
see if he goes for it in Alta. Makes up so much ground under braking, but he's afraid of those curbs. Pit window will open next time around. If I'm him, I'm thinking about the undercut. Struck back to your reasonable lap time, 43.8. Still like to be more mid 43s than high 43s. A little bit of cushion now, back to Higgly Wiggly. Might be just thinking about that undercut now. Don't really think I'm going to respond to him because, like I said, I don't really, I don't really think he's the. I don't really think we're fighting with him on a pace level. I just don't. He's a platinum. I'm a silver. Hit window opens. A good, yeah, really good lap so far. Awesome ground at Alta. Say temperature? We have. Alright. That might negate the need to change up the tires. Higgs is not gone yet. And also did about a second of uh, uh lost about a second on that lap. Interesting. Maybe I do have to think about responding to Higgs. Maybe I do have a shot at beating Higgs today. It's just a practice race, but you know, it's a momentum thing right there. Somebody is in the pits. One of the AM cars. It's Diego Alonso. Would be the only AM Ferrari. And that is definitely a prancing horse in the pit lane. Not a lot of Ferraris this season in general, to be honest. Andrew Burke, who won the championship of the Ferrari last season, has moved on from it. And it's just the Carabrones boys, Diego Alonso and Guillermo Martinez now. Holding up Ferrari honor. There might be one, there might be one other person. I don't remember. Higgs is all over me again. Not a terrible lap for me. Not a good one, but not a terrible one. Like maybe he was just falling back to to bring it on. Let's see what it was. Holding about ten seconds to Tobin. Yep, forty-two nine. All right, so he's on my qualifying pace now. Yeah, it's going to be tough to respond to. If he does go for the undercut, I'm surprised he do hasn't. So, gonna take a tenth out of each of the rears and add a tenth to the left front, I think. And the right front will stay the same at the pit stop. That's my thoughts. Closing on Tobin a little bit. Cap down at 9, uh, 
bit rough through Aqua. I can tell by looking at his car, he wants to make that move. He wants to make Alta an attack zone, but he just doesn't actually have the faith in the car on those curbs. Car triple nine, stop go. That is uh, one of the Cheneys. Tobin's in. Higgs is in. Am I going to take the leap? <laughs> no, Wentworth's still out. All right, so no lead. Probably pit next lap. Anything else would be kind of pushing it. So doing pretty consistent high 43s. I'd like to move that down a tenth or two into the mid 43s. Car triple t uh, 223. So Seth Cheney and I don't know who 223 is. Have uh, I didn't catch if that was a stop go or a drive through. Cheney's is a. Car 23 stop go. Wow, guys. Oof. Oh my god, kill me. That's well, Burke. Big oof. Uh, could stay out and take a lead lap, but. Let's be honest, that's probably flirting with a little bit of danger. Let's get in, get the work done. Slow down a little bit early. Okay. So, add one. I think Wentworth's going to be fighting Take one Jeff. off there and there. Why not Wentworth, Jeff, uh, Paul. Uh, you mean in the actual race? Nah. Yes. Pandas. I was going to say, Mero will be there. No, Mero will take himself out. And P potentially Burke. Yeah, but then there's Turcot. One of the pandas, one of the pandas will live. Should have more All than I gotta do is accidentally not bump my shifter in the pit. Three, three stop go penalties, gentlemen. This is terrible. I should probably wait until I get out of the pits to say that because, you know, watch as I get the fourth one. <laughs> so 2-2-3 two, two, was out of me and, so out of me and Burke and, the, and Janie. I uh, got the, the drive-throughs. And I come out just behind Higgs. Closer to Tobin, though. Interesting. So, despite the fact that that was not a good pit stop. Yeah, my car kind of peeled out when I got on the gas and jolted the wheel, and I somehow shifted. You might not have shifted. I super duper did. <laughs> well, I, was just, I, I was just saying some of the pit limiters can be disengaged by a car being out of control. So if you snap the if you snap the throttle on the way out of the pits, you can trick the electronics into disengaging the pit limiter. I'm sure that's possible, but I know I actually like full on bump the. Uh, that'll do it as well. Yep. My pit. I screwed up my pit stop a little bit, and Higgs got back in front of me. Slowed down before the uh, the pit line. <laughs> Slowed down a little bit too at the, before the pit line. Cause I noticed I had 39 seconds to wait. 
I have to check, uncheck my damage. I, I forgot that I could do that while I'm going to my pit stall. Ah. Uh, I just I just messed up a little bit. And I also missed my pit stall slightly. Ah, uh, well, maybe you would have beaten me out anyways. We'll have, to, we'll have to check on the log file and see if the pit, pit deltas were very different. Since that is now included in the uh, log files for race app. Take overtake Martel and Lasutis. Martinez yet to pit as well. Do you turn off track warnings? I feel like I should have about 17. Um, I've been getting a couple of warnings, but I've not gotten any penalties. Yeah, I guess that's what. I'm... So, like I said, I don't think there's really a turn here you can cut. And gain an advantage. Yeah. They're actually line fairly. The of the hell. Well, you could, like okay, you could straight line Alta, for example. Okay, that would be a problem. But like, Minerali, Alta, Tamborello, Villeneuve, like they all have anti-cut kind of built into them, <laughs> where it's like, you want to cut me? Sure, but you're gonna get this fucking turtle up your ass. Oh, yeah, yep, Guillermo didn't pit. Oh, well, I learned something new today. Even if you're in the pit lane, if you don't make it to the box by the countdown, I was like 10 feet from it. <laughs> um, I don't, I don't know. I, th I thought you just had to be in the pit zone when the... I was going down pit lane literally 10 feet from the box and then the pit lane closed, so... It's not, uh... Well, have you exited the I, pits yet? I didn't yet? know that, so... Uh, okay. I'm leaving. Well, let's see if it clears it. I th I think it might. Uh, I didn't change my tires or anything, because the box oh. went away before I could get in it. Wait, no, that that can't... That don't make sense, because you can pit outside of the window. No, I'm telling you, I was literally 10 feet from the box. Go to pull in, box gone, pit window, like... It's, I'm just saying, like, you have to be in the pit before the window counts down. I didn't know that. Yeah, but, like, what I mean is that the, your box shouldn't disappear even if the window closes. Like, if I go in the pits right now, my box will be there because the lane is not closed, just the window is. Well, I mean, I understand what you're saying, but it did. Yeah, that sucks. That's a bit weird. Are you recording? No, of course not. Ugh, this is why people need to record. I want to... Oh. Bro, I play in VR. It's already a struggle. If you if you give me stuff to send to the Kunos devs, I can actually get stuff fixed. Well, or try to. Well, I, can try to I, I did get one thing fixed earlier this year, so they do listen. If well, they did, I feel like VR would be better optimized by now. Oh well, no, no, that's just a that's their they they that yeah, they, they yeah. don't they don't see VR as a thing. That's what that is. All right, well, pointless for me to do the last 12 minutes. I can't really be bothered, so... No, 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 no. You get your ass out here. Too late. No such thing as pointless. You gotta figure out where those track limits are. <laughs> it just sucks, because, uh... Oh, Jeff and I were actually having a pretty good race there. I'm having I'm having a bit of a lonely race. I'm pretty clear backwards, and I don't think I can catch Higgs. Although I did go faster than you that lap there, Higgs. Stuck behind Guillermo. Excuses. <laughs> were you trying? Were you? Th how how badly did you want to go for an overtake into Variante Alto when you're chasing me? I'm so much faster through, than you through the chicane. It's actually frightening. I know you're catching me under the braking all the time and I'm just like he he so wants to do it but he's afraid of the curb. <laughs> I know of I know if I hit the curb too much it'll fuck me up. That's, what, that's how you got past me first of all. Alright. Adios. Don't no bad bird. Yeah, I'm already out. Fuck off. You can rejoin. You can <laughs> rejoin. No. This is track time sir. I'm gonna go I don't I will take my 
whatever it gets me. I believe in you guys. You have fun. Do all the do all the winning. Goodbye. You're dead to me. He's not your teammate. You can't complain. I was hoping Moss would my scratches up, but nope, turns out it's gonna be this game. This is track. You never know. Plenty of people mess up. I could see some drive throughs coming into play. People hitting other people. Yeah, Carnage. I mean, like I said, I got a top 10 here just by not fucking up last season. Like, it's not like I had pace. I think I qualified like 16th or something. Yeah, I mean, then again, we do have Mura and Turcot. Like, do I think you're gonna win? No. No. But, you know, top 10 probably. Salvage points if it's not getting my scratch though. Depending on how the other races go. Also, I would never count on anything being your scratch result. All it takes is a computer crash to make you go for a scratch zero. is kind of bugging me. It's a bit of a weird pain that I got going on right now. It's a bit weird. Do I go for the overtake on Guillermo or do I just let the penalty do the work for me? Because he's a good he's a good 1.5 slower than me a lap. Probably because he's fueled to the end. He does know he's supposed to pit, right? Uh, it's a practice race. He might not be practicing, the, which which I think is a bit silly. Because with all the pit stop uh, mess ups we have, we really should be practicing pit stops. <laughs> I mean, I treat this as a race, basically a race practice, so I can have everything ready for the next. Time. Same here, but you never know what people th uh You never know. Or maybe he pitted... No, he definitely didn't pit, because he wouldn't be ahead of us. He wouldn't have gotten ahead of us if he did an out-of-sequence pit. Because he was behind us. He was behind me when I pitted, so... Might get a 42 here. Well, I'm going to catch him and then he's going to slow me down. Off game. What lap times is Tobin running? Uh, I don't know. I, it fluctuates anywhere from like 44s to maybe 42s. So he's, ba he's basically on my pace in the race. Interesting. Which is weird because he beat me in qualifying and practice by a lot. I want to say like eight tenths of a second. Food for thought. Did over adjust the one rear tire. It's uh 
It's not out of the window, but it's slower than I'd like it to be. 27.4. Have we lost any more temperature? Look at that on the next. Good chance to look at the... Oh, it's still 22s. Maybe not the best place to look at it. At <laughs> Aqua Minerali, but... Let's see if we can bag this Ferrari and... Get a nice little highlight at the end. Andreas about 14 seconds back, so he looks like he's doing actually fairly decent in the Porsche. Considering, you know, he's Higgs's teammate. And I'm only, what, 7 seconds down on Higgs? So he's only about 22. Granted, both Higgs and I being held up by... A slow moving wow okay he is just dead in a straightaway what the fuck did he let me past I don't really see why he would have but maybe he did I don't know This is the weirdest knee pain I've ever had. It's kind of like a, it's a dull jolting pain, and it's in it's in the wrong knee. <laughs> Was doing a lot of crawling around on the ground today, trying to fix wires and stuff, with some success. <laughs> so maybe maybe a reaction to that. But the other knee, which is normally the problem, the left knee, is fine. And the butt is fairly decent. The uh, DBS does seem to be uh, clearing up a little bit. Decent lap time. Uh, nice match. Wentworth's last race lap. He's probably not doing a particular push, though, to be honest. Being that he is, you know, 25 seconds ahead. I lose, like, at least two tenths to every car on the straight. Which makes sense. Uh, shouldn't be every car, but yeah, most cars. I was watching you going down the straight. I would start, like, four tenths behind, and I was like... Time by the end of the straight. Lexus is one of the better ones in a straight line. X. That's pretty much its thing. <laughs> it's got good front. It's got good horsepower and uh, decent stability. And uh, that's really about it, actually. Like I highly recommend it as a beginner's car. Like that and the new Aston or beginner's cars in my book? Probably the two best, yeah. Oops. The old Mercedes is also a good one. The new Nissan, for all its faults, is actually not terrible beginner car, too. It's just not, you know, it's not, it's not fast. But, like, it's it's got some... It's a decent learner platform. It's the type of car that's only quick in the hands of people who are actually good. It's not terribly like unstable. It's just needs like pro drivers to extract it. Yeah, but if your goal is just to kind of establish your your skills, it's not a bad place to be. Wouldn't be my recommendation, but it top five. Of course, my personal opinion is that learning on a front engine car is always the easiest.
Especially if it's something you've driven in real life. That always helps. Which for me of the current cars is only the Nissan GTR. <laughs> One and one more to go. Not gonna catch anybody. Leaving Lasud or leaving Martinez in the dust. I don't know what's up with him. Is he could be could be damaged, could be limping at home on fuel, I don't know. Forty three five for Tobin, so still matching him. Shade slower there, 43.6, but within a tenth of Tobin. About seven tenths slower than Higgs, which, to be honest, is pretty good. Again, Higgs, platinum driver. I'm debating that fourth gear. Villeneuve, uh, I don't know about it, though. We'll see come next week. Tobin is 11.2 ahead of me, so he's been he's been pulling away a little bit um, since the pit stop. Uh, I think the undercut helped him out a little bit because the way he pulled away. Like, I came out of the pits closer to him, but he immediately pulled away while I was getting my tires up to pressure. Um, and got it out to more than the nine seconds I had to him before the pit stop. He's gotten it out to 11 and a half now. So... Kind of an un... Not much of a particularly amazing race, but reasonably promising. Look, I'm still, uh, I'm still concerned by the potential pace that Tobin has in that car. Um, safety rating and CC up over 90, nice. But um, I don't know. I thought, I thought good consistency on my end did a pretty good job kept it pretty consistent no major mistakes a lot of little ones nothing major um, held up well against Higgs when he was pressuring me it was just the it was the undercut that got me I mean, I could have, in theory, responded to sooner. Be interested to see what the pit delta was. Because I did mess up the pit stop a little bit. Only nine cars making it to the end, though, so a lot of people missing. And uh, obviously, the official race will be much, much larger. So we'll have to find out and uh, see what happens. We lost with Martel. Martel got uh, 20, or got 6th. Too, too bad. All right, let's get to the pit lane and see if we can rectify that poor pit entrance for the actual pit stop. Made it. Okay, so if I can if I could do something like that, we'll be in better shape. 130 second penalty for Martinez for not doing his pit stop. Drops him behind Lasutis, Martel, and Cheney. Out of the end, down a lap. Where's my pit box? I should be near the front. I'm like either the first or second pit box. I think I'm the second. Tobin's the first. Yeah, 
a little pit box. Okay. Not a bad race. Not an amazing race. But, uh, I don't know. I think... <sighs> we've his I've historically had some pretty reasonable outings here before. And I'm hoping I can do the same with, like, a top 10 or something. That'd be nice. I did get a top 10 at Laguna Seca, of course. So, it wouldn't be the first of the season. And if I could add on another one, that would be beautiful. So hopefully the audio quality here is uh, pretty reasonable and hopefully the balance is a little bit better. I know that my uh, last couple of videos have been uh, kind of muted on my voice, uh, a little bit loud on Discord, a little bit loud on the game. Um, I haven't turned the game down at all. I've just, I'm, I'm turning myself up and seeing if I can fix the problem without getting staticky. Because I do want the, I want the game volume to be loud and rich. Uh, Discord is already down a little bit, but I, I can obviously take it down further. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna upload this one. It was a decent it was a decent race, even if it was an unofficial event.